Hey guys, my name's Jason from the IT Folk. We provide IT support for small and medium businesses in Fife, but we also do home users and laptop repairs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to test the DC jack on a laptop using a multimeter. Uh, this particular model is a um, Samsung Notebook NP3530EC, but the procedure is pretty much the same on, on all laptops that have the DC jack hardwired into the, the motherboard. Uh, there are other types of uh, DC jacks. There's the type that comes connected via cable. There's a slightly different way of testing that, but we will be focusing on the, the bog standard motherboard um, DC jack. Um, so the customers brought this laptop into me and said that they suspect it's a DC jack because it's quite loose when uh, when wiggled around. Um, I've already tested this. I, I know it's not the DC jack, but I'm going to show you how I came to that conclusion. Um, the first thing you're going to need is obviously a multimeter um, for testing the the, the voltage, and um, and that's pretty much it. You need a little bit of knowledge on how to d disassemble a laptop. I'm going to assume that you have that knowledge. Um, and that you can do that quite confidently. Um, I may put another video up on how how we go about doing that, but essentially it's uh, something that you should you should be able to do. So I'm going to start by removing the cover on this particular uh, laptop and exposing the the motherboard. Now you can see on this laptop. Let me just zoom in. You can see the DC jack here. The DC jack, as you can see, is hardwired into the, the actual motherboard itself. Before I, te before I test that, actually, um, you can do a quick test on the actual DC jack itself. Black one on the end, red one on this side, and I can see perfect 19, 19 volts coming out of there, which is healthy. So that shows me that the power is coming through the, the DC adapter um, properly, and it's not faulty. Um, this particular one I'm using is actually a universal power supply. I knew it was working, but that's just for the video to, to let you see how you would go ahead and test that. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube that show you that one task. Um, so what I need to do is just plug the DC jack into the DC ad adapter into the, the DC jack so that I can then test to see if there's power getting through the, the, the jack into the, the motherboard. And it's a very simple process of, again, I should just zoom in so you can see this. And it's these two here. And what I'm looking for is to see if that 19 volts is transferring through to the to the motherboard, which it is. And I'll zoom out just to show you that. Touching these two points. Straight away up to 19 volts. So I know at this stage the, the, the power is getting through that DC jack into the motherboard um, so the DC jack is, is not faulty. Uh, the other thing we can test is the actual battery mechanism. Uh, we want to check to see if power is getting from the DC jack to the battery and again that's a very simple test. Let's zoom in again so you can see. The red node on the, uh, the large pin Zoom in a little bit further. And the black on any of these other ones. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking to see if there's any reading on the, the multimeter, which there is. Um, I'm getting 103, which is which is fine. Um, obviously, if there was no power coming through there, I wouldn't be getting anything. I'll just zoom out again so you can see the multimeter. So again, I know that the DC jack is fine. Uh, and that is basically how I would determine whether the DC jack is working or whether it's a fault with the motherboard. In this case, the motherboard is faulty and it's uh, a replacement that's required for this particular job. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and look out for future videos. Many thanks.